Hello all, Dominic here again, welcome to another video. I hope you're all okay today and I hope you're having a great week so far. Now today's video is going to be something life related. And this is something I've wanted to do for quite some time, um, so I did. And this one is going to be about um, a particular interview I was on quite some time ago. Um, overall, if you just wondered a quick um, part of it, um, it did not end well, so it didn't. But I wanted to share, my, um, you know, share about it and talk about it and stuff. So, yeah. So back in 2014, um, I went on a, a job interview um, for a warehouse job. And at this point, I'd been unemployed um, for about near over a year, near, about near near a year, because before that, I'd went to college for a year uh, from September 2012 to June 2013. And after that, I started looking for work. So I did. So at this point, I'd been unemployed um, for a year. So um, I went on this job interview and my mother actually came up, to, uh, came up with me. So she, so she did. Because I had no idea where to go. So we got the bus up to where I had to go and she waited outside until I was done. And she said to me, you know, good luck, Dominic, hope it goes well. You know, just, just be yourself. All, 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 the, all the usual stuff you say. I said, okay, thanks, Mum, thanks, Mum. So I went in, and I was um, I was 10 minutes early, as I was, for my interview. I remember it was at 10 o'clock that morning. And there was no one there, so I just sat down on, on this one chair that was there, just waiting, just waiting to get seen. And I ended up waiting for around, like, 10 to 15 minutes to get seen. And I remember, I think there was this one magazine, I just had a quick look at it, and that was it. And then the man came in. And usually it comes to interviews, they say, oh, uh, you're so-and-so, aren't you? Oh, you know, nice to meet you, I'm blah, 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 whatever. It didn't start like that. It started off as, with him coming in the room, okay, get up, get up, stand up. Weird. And we didn't even do the whole shake hands thing, or my name is so-and-so, whatever. Just said, just said to me, stand up, and okay, we'll get the interview done. So he ends up standing on the other side, um, behind the sort of counter, and I was I stand on the opposite side, and he says to me, you know, he asked me a bunch of questions, my name and everything, um, and everything seems okay, so it does. Um, but one point that honestly, it 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 sort of annoyed me, was when he kept rushing me to answer the questions he'd answered. Um, um, he'd asked me, so about you know, um, you know. Um, expect you know you know short amount of work experience or whatever or what I'd done at college or sixth form or whatever and he kept sort of rushing me and it honestly I didn't like it at first and he kept asking me so I said why are you taking so long he said you should know the answers blah 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 and I said to him I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm just, just trying to think what to say because usually you do sort of blum blumber around on interviews unless you've already you know practiced or whatever and at this point, I hadn't been on a lot of interviews. I'd been on a couple, and that was it, really. And he just kept continuing to rush me with what I was asking him. Then it got to a point where I almost felt like walking out. And I didn't walk out, which I somewhat regret doing, where he asks about my autism. But he doesn't ask it in a positive way. He asks it in a very mean and negative way. And what I mean by that is... This is the question he asked me. He says, oh, okay. I've just been reading about that you've got this A thing you've got. And I, I, I got annoyed when he said that. And I thought, and I, I said to him, I said, I said, do you mean autism? And I got, I almost got aggressive on him. And I almost felt like walking out, which I shouldn't have done. You know, I, I should have done that. Sorry. I should have done that. Uh, but I didn't do that. I just continued with the interview. And at that point, I was really, really annoyed that he sort of mocked my, you know, disability. Uh, instead of calling it autism, he just called it that A thing. That's not good, you know what I mean, for an employer. And I really don't think that the, the, the man really cared. I, don't, I really don't think he gave, gave a damn, really. I just don't think he cared. And I was glad once the interview was done. I was annoyed, I was angry. And I started getting emotional. Once I, left, once I went back outside... I just started getting all, all, all so emotional. And I told mum and everything, and she was not happy. She really, really wasn't. So that's that's absolutely disgusting, the way they've just treated you. And I remember 
Um, my mum, when we got back home, um, she rung my nana, telling her everything. We spoke to uncle, telling him, telling him, telling him everything. Uh, and even my sister at the time, um, it's, it's the time even, even my sister at, at that point, um, she even said the same thing. That's absolutely disgusting. And they kept telling us that you should, you should, you know, report them or sue them or whatever, which we should have done, but we never ever did. And it, it did, it did hurt me. I remember like getting home that day, and I just started crying. I really, really did. And I know it wasn't my fault, but it just it hurt me. And I thought that's no way. That's you don't treat people like that to sort of mock their disability. It's just not a good um, thing. It really, really isn't. Um, and luckily for me, I've not had an interview like that since. Usually they've just been, you know, normal interviews or, um, open days of the column or whatever. Um, you know what I mean? Um, which is good like that. I'm glad I've not had anything like that. But after that, it did, honestly, I, I felt a bit wary having future interviews because I was thinking, well, are they all going to be like that? Um, but luckily they haven't, you know what I mean? But it's... It's just the way they treat treated me like that. Now, I think after a while, uh, like a year or two after that, I, I still felt a bit, you know, weary about it. But after that, not really. Um, <coughs> pardon me again, sorry. Um, but it didn't really bother me, you know what I mean? Because of the fact that I've had, you know, voluntary work, so I have. I've had little bits of paid work there as, as well. Um... Which is good for me, you know what I mean? But I think once I do get back into work, I will be really, really happy. Because um, I haven't actually had any... I've not done any sort of work in um, about two and a half years. Uh, yes, I did um, have a bit of voluntary work last year, so I did, which didn't really go well. Um, but, like I said, I think once I get back into work, I'll be bloody happy about that. And, yeah, that's all that matters, really. Because when I did work, uh, did a bit of paid work back in 2016, I loved it. I really, really did. Uh, it was nice to, um, you know, get to work all happy smiley and leaving work all happy smiley. It's a nice thing, that. And even getting home, I was like, oh, it's been a great day today and stuff. And it was a nice feeling um, until they got rid of me. So, yeah, <laughs> I can't help that. But, um, yeah, it's just, I think once I do get back into work, I'll be, I'll, I'll love it and stuff. Once I'm getting a bit of money and stuff from working, not e-begging YouTubers, um, <laughs> proper paid work and proper money. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be glad once once I get back out there. So all done. So yeah, I just wanted to you know talk about this and stuff. I hope you all found it interesting and stuff. Um, Cause yeah, I like to talk about little things like this and stuff about my personal life and stuff. Um, and a lot of people don't like that and stuff. Uh, or the the put everything on on, on online and stuff. So that's the problem nowadays with people online and on the internet. They put their the whole entire life online. You know what I mean? Like people might go on Facebook. Oh, I've just woken up now. I'm having my breakfast. I'm having my shower. Walking to work now. You know what I mean? It's just no, don't don't do that and stuff. Like little bits like you know talking about like job interviews or mention about my autism. I don't mind that. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's just how it is, really. <laughs> But I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you found it, you know, quite interesting in its own way and stuff. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, Alex will be back on Friday. Hopefully he's not still crying about the world not ending. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I found that absolutely funny. So I did want to make that video. Um, and obviously I'll be back on Saturday. So I just want to say thanks for watching. See you all later on. And enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.